understanding that it's not about mimicking necessarily your local seasons. It's about activating the metabolic modes that we evolved to survive those seasons. And the seasons that we're talking about are, you know, really, really more of sub-Saharan uh, African. What I mean by that is that, you know, you've got this fall season where you've got like uh, fruits and berries are on the trees, the root vegetables are plentiful, there's honey uh, everywhere with all the blossoms and what have you. And, and, and uh, with all the flowers, I should say uh, from, from previously. So you've got that carbohydrate season. Then immediately following that season, you would go into a period of, of, incredible calorie restriction. You would go into a season of winter, um, drought. And what that would mean is very, very low food availability of any kind. Then you'd move into spring, which would be triggered by the rains. Now with the abundance of water, there'd be lots of plants, mostly fresh young greens and hunting would become prolific and amazing. And so as you run through that cycle, you can see we're going to burn sugar when sugar is available. When we go into calorie deprivation, we're gonna we're gonna burn both fat and protein, uh, you know, in, in uh, um, uh, which is an important function of the body. And then when we move into that season of uh, calorie surplus, but no carbohydrates, we're going to burn primarily fat and we're gonna build muscle mass and what have you. That understanding that metabolic cycle and recognizing that the average American never runs it, well, explains a lot of the metabolic disorder that we've got.